hit and run victim is asking for your help tracking down the driver who hit him as he walked his dog last week. He was severely injured and his dog was killed. Local 10 Sonella Sabovic is live with new information on the investigation. Sonella. The victim is here at Ryder Trauma Center. He is in the intensive care unit in critical condition. He has had three surgeries in the past five days. His family, they are hurting and devastated and are hoping that the person responsible is arrested soon. He's all I got. It's just hard for me to know that someone left him out there like that to die. 39 year old Willie Moore is in critical condition, hooked up to machines at Ryder Trauma Center, now fighting for his life after he was struck by a hit and run driver last Wednesday. Everybody's worried because right now we don't know what the what's, what the outcome is going to be for this. The person behind the wheel never once stopping to render any aid. No human being should be left like this. No one should be left on the ground to die like that. Moore's niece, Sharante Walker, says her uncle was struck last Wednesday night around 1130 along Northwest 95th Street and 20th Avenue. Moore was walking his two dogs when he was hit. One sadly died upon impact. Moore has broken bones and internal bleeding. Three surgeries already and more to come. And you've only been in the hospital for five days. That says something big about the impact that this car had on his small body. Nearby surveillance video doesn't capture the crime, but does show the aftermath with cars slowing down and stopping near the crash scene. Police and fire rescue arriving to take Moore to the hospital. Moore's family is devastated and hoping someone out there with answers comes forward. This is why it's hurting so bad for something like this to happen to someone that doesn't do anything to anyone. So please, if you know something, please say something. No word yet from police on the make and model of that vehicle, but if you have any information that can help them make an arrest, give Miami-Dade detectives a call, or you can remain anonymous and call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. The family has also created a GoFundMe page to help pay for medical expenses. You can find that information on our website, local10.com. That's the latest here from Miami. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.